Hello everyone, this is Paul from hi fi Mail. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the wireless Apple CarPlay here. And some friends say the CarPlay no sound when made the calls or playing the music. How to fix these problems? So the first part is how to connect the wireless Apple CarPlay. This is iPhone here. Yeah. And the Android screen, the zip link is the app for the wireless Apple CarPlay. Now we click here. Here you can see it says, please connect your phone to this device with USB or Bluetooth. If connect the USB, there is wire connection. But today we're talking about wireless connection. So we need to connect the Bluetooth. We chose the Bluetooth connection. That is wireless Apple CarPlay. So, here. In order to connect the Bluetooth, you must set the Android Bluetooth is on. Some friends set the Android Bluetooth is off. Here. He set the he set the Bluetooth as OEM Bluetooth. OEM Bluetooth means original car Bluetooth. Before you replay this Android screen, the car Bluetooth is OEM Bluetooth. Android Bluetooth is the Bluetooth for this Android screen. You you should choose the Android Bluetooth in the setting. Only that you can click here and pair the phone to the to the Bluetooth, Android Bluetooth here. This is the first thing you need to notice. And then we need to go to the Bluetooth in the cell phone. Turn on here. And you need to turn on the Wi-Fi here. Now we go to the Bluetooth here. You will use the cell phone to search the Android Bluetooth here, to pair the Bluetooth here. You can see, this is the name for the Bluetooth. It appears in this, in this area under the Bluetooth here. You need to pair here. Click it. When you click the Bluetooth here, the it need to input a pin. Here is the pin in the Android side. Four zero, right? One, two, three, four. Four zero. And pair the Bluetooth. That way, it will switch to the CarPlay menu. It come out a message to ask you if to use CarPlay. We click Use CarPlay. The Bluetooth is connected, but it cannot go to the CarPlay for very long time. Stay in this menu for long time. We can pair it again. Let me show you how to do it. Here, the first we can we can remove the remove the mail clearance for the records here, and I also did forget this device. That means I also need to make a clearance for the Bluetooth records here. Remove it first. Make a clearance. Click here. Forget this device. And forget here. You can also change this name. For example, I want to change another name. Like uh, BMW5. Uh, BMW5. I want to change the name here and then we just click here turn off first and turn on again to find these keys here click it you can see click it it also asks the pin right here here
पियोज खापला है If you find the Bluetooth is connected, but it cannot switch to the CarPlay, how to do it? Here, we can go to the Bluetooth first. I made a clearance here, clear. Also, clear here. And we can, we can go to the Bluetooth. Also, I forget this first. Forget this device. That means I also remove the keys, put keys here. And then I go to the general CarPlay here. You can see there's two connections here in the CarPlay, general CarPlay here. We stop it. Forget this device. Because the old connection might connect to the connect to the end of screen on the back. We cannot see it. So we just forget this device. Forget it. Okay. I also and then I click here and we'll see there's a hotspot device connect to the CarPlay. This is the old connection. We should disable it. We should disconnect it. And clear it. Now, there's no connection between the cell phone and the Android screen, right? So, we can pair it again. Sorry, turn on again. Okay, here. Here. And make sure the Wi Fi is turned on. Yes, it turned on. Use CarPlay. See, it will get into the CarPlay right now. For the first time and the second time, we cannot switch to the CarPlay menu. We wait very long time, right? Because on the back, on the back, there's a connection between the Android screen and the cell phone. We need to disable the old connection and make clearance first. And make clearance in the cell phone. After that, we we'll pair again. Then will be easy to connect it. Now, in this part, we're talking about no sound problems. Uh, because some friends always ask me why there's no sound in the CarPlay menu when he play the music or 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 may or may a call there's no sound. Now, the first thing you need to remember, you cannot connect the phone to the original Bluetooth or Android Bluetooth. This is the first thing. See? There's no sound here. No sound at all. Because because the phone connect to original Bluetooth here. It have connect to the original Bluetooth. So there's no sound. No sound. The second thing is the uh, CarPlay uh, or any apps in the in the Android Android side. The sound go from IUX. You need to check if you have chose the IUX in the factory car menu because the sound go from IUX, including the CarPlay. And another thing is to track the setting here. 
uh, warrant setting. Because when you make a call, here is the call warrant up. You can change the warrant here, like increase the warrant here, here, Android warrant, OEM warrant, increase it. This is the first. And then you can go to here, Android here, and South. Here, you can see media warrant, call warrant, ring, alarm warrant. You need to set all these options to the maximum, to the setting here. Here, you must set to the maximum here. This is the second for the setting. And then, go to the factory here. Here, there's M-I-C-K. M-I-C means microphone, microphone K. Some friends, the setting, M-I-C, just like this. In that way, when you make a call, the sound is too, almost cannot hear the sound. You need to set a bigger success like this. Then, the microphone here, this model built-in microphone, can pick up your voice. So, other people out of the car can hear your voice because the microphone needs to pick up your voice. Okay, if you have any other questions or problems, you can make a comment uh, below this video. I will try to answer you. Thank you very much.